So here we are on the last full day in Iceland and uh, we're going to make the most of it today by going to the Essian mountain region and then hiking up a, a trail so that should be fun and then in the afternoon we're going to explore the Reykjavik city and see what sort of shops and sites and things there are to see there in the daytime as um, last time like the previous times we've been into the city it's uh, been the evening so a lot of things have been closed so I'm hoping to be able to go into the, the big church see the inside of it and see some museums some shops and uh, and then maybe get some food this evening so here we are at the Essian start of the mountains anyway the car park and it looks like we've got a few different routes that we can do there's uh, a load of boards up here telling us all the routes which is pretty cool and quite handy makes it easy to, to get going. Uh, the sat nav initially was trying to take us all the way up the mountain so uh, when you get to this sort of point where you find that there's a car park and a restaurant and a load of boards with routes that's where you've got to stop really as it was looking like it was trying to take us up some closed mountain road the uh, sat nav when I just put Essian in um, but yeah it looks really good we've got loads of different hiking routes to do here so we're gonna have a look at the boards and decide where to go from here at the Essian mountain range and it's a beautiful hike great views and just mountains obviously everywhere it's uh, quite a tough hike though the uh, paths are all snow and ice so uh, and obviously very like uh, uphill sorts of paths so it takes a bit of fitness to get up here but it should be well worth it when we get to the top and take in some amazing scenery <laughs> So we're descending the mountains now on the way back to the car. It's been a, a lovely trek and a nice walk, uh, but it was a bit too much for my wife, so we didn't quite make it to the summit of the mountain, unfortunately. What did you think of the walk? Pretty cool. A bit hard though, but awesome. Awesome views. She was scared to death, <laughs> but she's just not letting on. The Esian mountain range done. It was pretty cool, nice hike. Back at the car now and heading back to Reykjavik. So in Reykjavik, we're just gonna explore the city, see some museums and, and whatnot, see what sites are there. But uh, I've really enjoyed the hike and CF yeah, found it great, really nice views and a bit of a challenge getting up the uh, snowy, icy uh, sort of pathways here. But yeah, really good fun. I'd definitely recommend doing this. I think in the summer it'll probably be uh, a lot more straightforward as there'll probably be a lot less snow and, uh, and ice around. Probably still be some, but uh, yeah, certainly uh, a lot less. And some of the, the paths and, and things here, you just couldn't even see them. They were uh, almost invisible with all the, the coating of snow. And uh, you have to really take care because things like this, like streams that are frozen over and covered in snow, and obviously you don't want to accidentally step into a, a stream and, and sink into it. So you've got to be really careful with your footing and there is some paths that are quite near to uh, quite steep drops. So it's uh, a bit dangerous, but yeah, well worth checking out. Uh, probably a good thing to get would be those sort of spike things that you can get on the bottom of your shoes. I'm not sure what they're, they're called exactly, 
but um, yeah, we didn't have those, but they would have been really helpful. Anyway, on to Reykjavik now. Action, my wife just informed me those spike things for your shoes are called crampons. So Google crampons if you want to get set for a good hike in Iceland and have the right gear to get up the snowy, icy mountain hills. Just walking out of our apartment up our street and we've got the uh, famous church of Iceland so hopefully we're going to get to go into it this time we've already seen it a few times from the outside as we're so local to it we pass it every time we go out into the city to buy our supplies or go for a meal but yeah it's the first time we've seen it in the daylight so hopefully we can get some nice uh, nice shots inside and see what see what it's like in there Unfortunately, we've again missed our chance to go into the uh, big famous church here as they're just starting a ceremony. Uh, wife is a bit annoyed, aren't you? Yep. She's quite angry. She's especially wanted to go into this church, so maybe we'll have to pop back later and see if it's open then. now just on the lookout for a fridge magnet. Can't call it a holiday unless we get a fridge magnet and a shot glass. Yeah. It's quite a big decision to pick a fridge magnet. So wife is looking very hard. So we've enjoyed a little look around the shops. Now we're gonna head down to the sea in Reykjavik and get the drone up in the air. Apparently here you can fly a drone in Reykjavik, uh, following the usual rules, being like 30 meters away from uninvolved people. And um, the height restrictions though, are that you can't fly above the building's height in Reykjavik. So just gonna get some shots along the seafront, looking at, uh, at the Reykjavik city, and hopefully they'll look pretty cool. So as you got down to the coast, unfortunately it's a bit too windy for flying a drone. Uh, didn't seem so windy when we were around all the buildings, but of course at the sea you usually feel a lot more wind and uh, that's certainly the case today. So I'm not going to risk from Avic Air uh, to fly for, for a few minutes around Reykjavik. But um, yeah, we're just going to have a walk around now. Happy hour is about to start at the bars in Reykjavik. Starts at around four o'clock at a lot of the bars, so then we can get some drinks and have some fun. So out of the wind now, on our way to an Irish bar. Uh, my wife has uh, Irish origins about her, so she feels quite at home when she goes to an Irish bar. So it's kind of one of the things that we do whenever we're on holiday. I'm uh, just using my Osmo Pocket now for this vlog as I didn't want to carry my main A6300 video camera around with a, a big microphone on so the audio might not be as good on this as just using a little uh, lapel microphone which you might be able to see just here. And it's picking up a lot of wind and traffic noise but hopefully it's doing a good enough job. Um, but yeah, it's a really cool place, Iceland, especially for photography and videography. You don't feel as awkward getting your camera out here and tripod as you would in a, a normal city like back home in Birmingham. And certainly don't feel too awkward doing a vlog on the street like this. Helene, she's doing the navigating this time to find the Irish pub. As I say, she's uh, got Irish roots, so she's good at sniffing out Irish bars. So I'm sure she'll get us there. How do you feel about finding that bar? Fantastic. What do we think of this place, Elaine? Yeah, it's cool. Good bar. Very cool. Nice Good vibe. bar. Nice vibes. Good beer. She's got her cider. She's happy. I've got some Icelandic beer called Bolly, and it's pretty good. And uh, yeah, it's a nice chilled out place. A uh, bit of a, a dark sort of bar, as you'd expect, really. 
traditional sort of Irish bar feel to it. So we're enjoying some nice beer. So that concludes our visit to the Irishman here in Reykjavik. Where are we off to now, Elaine? The Bastard Pub. So we're off to the Bastard Bar, where we're hoping we'll be able to get some food and catch their happy hour. So uh, yeah, it's apparently not far from here. A couple of minutes walk around the corner and we'll be at the next bar. Food, my food, leave it alone. So we're all done in Reykjavik now, heading back to the apartment. We went to the Bastard Bar, had our food, and then we went back to the Irish Bar and had more drinks. So we're a little bit inebriated now, but we're gonna find our way back to our apartment and then uh, getting up at about half three tomorrow morning to get the flight home. So early start tomorrow, so I think this is us signing off for the night. Good night everyone, hope you all have a great day. Please remember, subscribe, like my videos, and join me again for more content.